yes, in fact, I've us. been I've been <laughs> waiting to come and meet you guys because I've told her several times when she reached me the first time. I told her that let's collaborate now. See, we are even colleagues. Imagine. Yes. We, we work, work in, in the, the same, same place. place so. <laughs> but she has refused to oh collaborate God. with me. <laughs> It's okay. Not sure. It's life that is happening. <laughs> no problem. So today, thank God we are here. Also, I'll be doing a video with her. So you need to go check out that video. God bless you. Hello, treasures. Welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Bisa's Corner, where we care about your total well-being and with and with me today is my dear friend and sister Helen's corner okay today is more like a chit chat we are hanging out here today so we are going to be talking about marriage and our topic is more like distant marriage does it have any advantages and disadvantage or how is she coping because personally I used to I used to tell people that I, I, any woman that stays alone with her children I respect them double because there are so many things you just need the other significant other to do and that's why we are interviewing it's more like a chit chat so i will start by asking her my first question here which is how um, was the um, was this planned you know some people plan ahead of time i will live in this state you live here we'll just come together have children we'll visit and all that was it planned or it just happened <sighs> It wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. In fact, <laughs> when I wanted to get married, there are some suitors I actually rejected because they are living far away from me. I wanted someone that was close, and that was why I chose my husband. But you know, the circumstance, nobody knows where he will be tomorrow. So I'm here. <laughs> so was it at the beginning? How long have you been married? And did the separation start immediately or... The, in, during the course of the marriage okay um we've been married for like nine years and we are living together initially like first year second year you know at times when you get married you, uh, you, you start experiencing challenges you know challenges set up and then challenges started and then um, he had to move he got a job in Lagos he had to move I was in Abuja then alone while he was in Lagos so yeah, luckily for me I was called for a job that I was actually begging for kind of so I had to come over to Ebony State and since it's a federal job I was like okay this job has security let me just be doing it for the meantime after some time I can now transfer and come and join you thinking it's going to be easy, that easy yes. <laughs> but I don't know that transfer is something else so we are here okay so how has he been raising the children alone my dear uh, going for school runs having to take care of them when they're sick because that's one of the things that scares me I don't know if that is because I'm a health professional but I just hate my children hmm. being sick because I know how my brain will just be going this will happen this will happen so sometimes just my husband being around helps calm me down so how do you cope take care of the children and also taking care of the home entirely my dear you know when you are saying that uh, calm you down calm you i really i was thinking is my attitude towards things whenever my children are sick i'm i'm panicking like there's this natural panic. I'm no longer coordinated. Exactly. Like everything about me will just scatter. I used to think it's me that have the problem, but no. you saying it I now. I think almost every mother and ah. they say you work in the hospital have that because most times you see you see you always have near death experience. I don't know how to put it. You see how people die and how just normal fever can enter another disease. So I think most health workers will usually have that. We panic extra when we have to deal with sick relatives. Okay. So that's what we do if we are not supposed to treat them. Because we panic All extra. this why I was thinking is my <laughs> problem. Anyway, it's not easy, I must confess. Honestly, I don't even wish anybody to be far away from his uh, significant other. Oh, yes. Like, I don't wish it for even my enemy. Just be with your spouse so that there are things that your spouse can do that you cannot do there are places like they said 
two good heads is better, better than one. one. There are there are things that he can just arrange naturally, and you you are not just good there. And there are places he will be good, and you you are not good. It's not easy. It has been very very challenging. And one of the greatest things that will happen to me is for me to go and join my hobby. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and I pray that God will fulfill that way. Amen. So, is there any, any advantage? Okay, sorry, let me know his advantage. Is there any virtue or would I say any habit or attribute that is required for this distant marriage to really work? When we are talking about distant marriage, because some people, we've heard of some people that because the man is outside, the woman is outside, maybe they don't say they now broke up, divorced, they remarried. So, is there anything that is required to still keep the relationship strong? Because at least I've stayed with you for some time. I see that you and your husband, you still behave like you just got married last week. Why you have stayed blind years? So, I want to know is there anything that someone needs specially to make sure that distant marriage works? Because I, to me, I think this one needs extra hard work. My dear, distance marriage is not easy. Hey, hey, it's not easy. Temptation from the man, even from the woman. In fact, some people naturally, because they know that you are far away from your spouse, they come in. They want to enter. <laughs> Entering is not that they, they will have you and go marry you correctly. It's to destroy the marriage. You can see maybe the devil is using them one way or the other because he doesn't want peace. So it depends on the both of you. What do you people really want? want? Mm -hmm. If you want a happy home, you can walk towards happy home. And for you to have a happy home, there must be forgiveness. Capital letter. As in, I, I used to feel that in distance marriage, if you're working, if, 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 if you need 70% of love in living together, then you need 100% in distance marriage. Because it's not easy to love somebody you are not seeing with your eyes every day and every time. Okay? You need that trust. If you need it 70% in normal one, you need 100% in distance marriage. Because you trust the person you can see. Like, as I'm seeing you, I, yes, I know yeah, I'm with know, you. Yes. The person I'm not with is just telling me that he's on the bed. I don't even know if he's sleeping somewhere else, if he's sleeping in yes, hotel, yes. anywhere. Yes. So you need that trust, 100%. You need, just need to trust the person, no matter what, for it to work. For it to work. You need love, you need trust, you need understanding, you need forgiveness, forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I will hammer on that one because it's very, very important. No matter what the person has done to you, you just Have forgive, forgive yes. and just believe that what you guys need now is to work and bring up the kids. The kids. Uh, and just, you, you guys, you, both of you have to agree to make the home better. Oh. Okay, now you talked about the kids. How has he been raising them up alone? Going for school runs? This is as in... Training them, or will I use discipline? Disciplining them, as in making sure that they they do the right things. Because most times, when the father figure is is around, I think the children usually used to they used to align better than when is the mommy, mm. the soft one. So how do you cope? The thing is, you just tell yourself that you are alone. No, you know you are the father, you are the mother. If this child <laughs> did not become something tomorrow, it's is in your hands. So everything is on you. So. At times, even when you want to have that soft feeling as a mother, you can't help than to have that strong feeling of a father and follow the child with that kind of bus bus, anyhow he wants it. <laughs> because last, last, they say these the children, if they, if they do not turn out well, is you is the one that suffers most. Even in, in all these uh, marriage that you see that they have sickler, they claim they love each other so much. When the wahala sets in, is the mom that suffers most. So always remember that you as a mom, you that is with the ch children, because most distance marriage is the woman that is with the children. Except a distance marriage that is just a short distance, then the man can stay with the children. But most distance marriage is the woman that you, you have to double up as a mother and as yes, a father so that these children will be what fruitful for you tomorrow even if not fruitful for you they can be fruitful for the world or fruitful for themselves yes these yes. are the things you need to consider okay do you have any advice for people that are about to get married or is there anything you have to tell them okay see what you need to look out for 
if you, there is this time marriage tomorrow, go for it or don't go for it. Do you have any general yeah. advice or anything for How me? will I advise somebody to come and enter fire? <laughs> 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 no, I will not advise anybody to enter fire. Though distance marriage has its own um, advantages, okay. like um, anytime you guys see his honeymoon, you know, you guys we have time for each other because majorly when you're going to see your man you're not doing anything there because that's not where you're working. you're, you're working mm. uh -huh. it's like a free time for you so you have time for the person very well and the person also have, have time, time for, for you me. very very well you know mm -hmm. anytime people see each other it's almost as if it's a honeymoon mm. and aside from that you have your me time as a as a woman now when my husband is not around I can decide to drink tea and sleep with my children but if he's around he will tell me he want to eat rice <laughs> or he want to eat pounded dam i have to do it yes because i'm the woman i have to cook for my husband to eat so i might not be resting very well when he's uh -huh. around but when he's not around i have my free time these are the advantages of distance marriage but anything aside from that is a disadvantage yes. It's a disadvantage because... So, generally, you now advise people to no, just willingly go into this time. I marriage. will not. Marriage says that a man will leave his father and mother and cling together. to his wife. Cling. They will be together. And you know that eh, when you guys are together always, eh, you, you often have time for each other, like intimacy, a lot of things. And during intimacy... As, as, as a doctor, you know that there is a hormone that, yes. is, that is in charge. Yes. And that hormone, there is a particular thing that is released. Yes. And that particular this thing that is released, for um, hormone that is released during its intimacy, you know it's a love hormone. Yes. It helps, helps bind, bind the, the couple together. together. Yes. And in these things, at times in distance marriage, you always have arguments. Have, it's only when you people are together, you have mutual understanding. Okay, this is what you were saying. I didn't mm, understand initially. Yes, because you are seeing the person. You understand <laughs> some um, things more. In fact, I the, think the distance marriage is more like someone that is, that, will I use the <laughs> word? Is he blind or something? You are not seeing everything you don't always see everything how it is <laughs> you but, even yeah. forget to tell the person some important things yes. that is happening and when the person knows why didn't you tell me did you remember did you understand like <laughs> you forget to tell the person financially it's not even advisable you spend here you spend there yes. you cook here you cook, cook there yes. you buy water here you buy there my god distance marriage is nothing i'm going to advise to any couple just be together manage yourself Forgive yourself, help yourself, love understand yourself, yourself love yourself, and, and then you. also have that discipline. Discipline is very, very important, important in distance marriage. Also, self control is important for you to be able to control yourself because some things, on <laughs> go, you know, and sorry, like you want to have some things, and then these are things you're not supposed to have. So, you learn to control yourself, and then so that the, the family. We work together. You must have a purpose for being together, yes. for things to work, work well. well. So yes. you should always have a purpose, a reason why both of you came together. So that, that's like what, something that will still keep you people. Whenever you want to maybe move away from that purpose, you remind yourself that this is why, or this is what we want our future to be like. Yes. God bless you. It's wonderful having you. Oh, me, I'm even so happy doing this with you. Okay, thanks for watching. Please do well to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. And also check out our channel, Helen's Corner. It will be the <laughs> link will be on the description box. I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Mm.